the all-silicone AirQ3 and AirQ3 gastric intubating laryngeal airways are designed with ease of use and patient safety in mind. The AirQ3 airways are indicated as a primary airway in applications which do not require an endotracheal tube. It is also especially suited as an aid for intubation in difficult airway situations when an endotracheal tube is desired. The tethered removable connector is color-coded for easy size identification and allows intubation through the AirQ3 tube. The inflation line is used to manage the inflation and deflation of the cuff. The anatomical bowl and built-up mask heel improves mask placement and seal. The guide ramp helps to facilitate intubation and direct the endotracheal tube or scope toward the laryngeal inlet. The epiglottis elevator lifts the epiglottis and opens the airway for maximum access. The safety hole provides gas exchange if the main tube becomes occluded. The AirQ3 gastric airway has a channel on each side of the tube, which enables gastric access. Select a proper size AirQ3 airway according to patient weight and mouth opening. The AirQ3 intubating laryngeal airway is individually packaged sterile and intended for single patient use. Gather the equipment needed for placement of the AirQ3 airway. Aseptically remove the AirQ3 from the package. To prepare the AirQ3 airway, use a syringe to completely deflate the cuff. Use a water-soluble lubricant to lubricate the mask's external surfaces and ridges. Avoid placing lubricant on the bowl of the mask. Inspect the patient's mouth and remove all removable denture devices. Ensure the patient is properly anesthetized. Position the head in an extended or sniffing position. Open the patient's mouth and elevate the tongue. A mandibular lift is recommended. A tongue blade placed at the base of the tongue may also be used. Place the front portion of the Air Q3 mask between the base of the tongue and the soft palate at a slight forward angle if possible. Pass the Air Q3 mask into position within the pharynx by gently applying inward and downward pressure using the curvature of the Air Q3 mask and airway tube as a guide. Now rotate the AirQ3 airway forward and inward, aiming for the base of the tongue. Minimal manipulation may be necessary to turn the corner into the upper pharynx. Continue to advance until fixed resistance to forward movement is felt. Pull back slightly and reseat. Correct placement is determined by this resistance to further advancement. Be sure not to over-insert the airway. An alternative method is to place the back of the left index finger behind the mask, flexing the finger forward to help guide the mask around the corner into the pharynx. Secure the AirQ3 airway in place and inflate the AirQ3 cuff according to the recommendations table. Do not overinflate the cuff. Check the AirQ3 connector to ensure it is fully engaged within the airway tube and attach the connector to the appropriate breathing device. Check for adequate ventilation. For example, monitor end tidal CO2. Check for bilateral breath sound and chest expansion. Secure the device with a tube holder and keep in place until the AirQ3 is removed. Prior to intubation, the laryngeal musculature and vocal cords must be relaxed either by an aerosolized local anesthetic or with the aid of a muscle relaxant. Then, pre-oxygenate. Select the appropriate size endotracheal tube. After checking the endotracheal tube cuff integrity, completely deflate the cuff before insertion. Use a water-soluble lubricant and generously lubricate tube and cuff. Next. Disconnect the AirQ3 airway from the breathing circuit and remove the tube connector. To remove the connector, place the airway tube between the index finger and thumb just distal to the connector. With the other hand, rock the AirQ3 connector back and forth while pulling the connector outward away from the airway tube. Pass the lubricated endotracheal tube into the airway tube 
and distribute the lubricant within the shaft by moving the endotracheal tube up and down until it travels freely through the entire airway tube. Insert the endotracheal tube to the appropriate depth depending on the air Q3 size. This will place the tip of the endotracheal tube proximal to the opening within the mask cavity. There are several techniques used to advance the endotracheal tube into the trachea and through the vocal cords. Using a fiber optic endoscope or bougie are common techniques. Follow your standard protocol for advancing the endotracheal tube. Inflate the cuff and verify adequate ventilation. To remove the Air Q3 airway, select the appropriate removal stylet size. Remove the endotracheal tube connector. Next, position the proximal portion of the endotracheal tube between the index finger and thumb and leave enough space for the tip of the removal stylet. Squeeze the tube and insert the tapered end of the removal stylet into the endotracheal tube. For Air Q3 airway size 2.0 to 5.0, Use a firm inward pressure and rotate the removal stylet taper tip in a clockwise direction until the adapter firmly engages. For Air Q3 airway sizes 0 to 1.5, simply push the stylet firmly into the endotracheal tube. Fully deflate the Air Q3 cuff and pilot balloon. Deflate and lubricate the endotracheal tube pilot balloon before withdrawing the Air Q3 airway. While exerting inward stabilizing force on the removable stylet, slowly withdraw the Air Q3 airway over the stylet rod. Reposition the endotracheal tube to the proper depth and inflate the cuff. Secure the endotracheal tube. Replace the connector and attach to an appropriate breathing device. Verify adequate ventilation.